Timogen Kensu, formerly known as Fred Freeman, has been behind bars since 1987 for the murder of a college student in Port Huron. As our Victor Williams reports, new light is being shined on the case and it's revealing many things that just don't seem right. Well, 30 years behind bars is a long time for anyone to be away, especially if they claim to be innocent, but not just for Mr. Kinzu himself, who's been behind bars since the tender age of 23, but every single private investigator who's worked on the case, as well as a high powered judge, they all believe that he's innocent. Another holiday season will pass with a man widely believed to be wrongfully convicted still behind bars. This whole case has been manipulated from the very beginning, which is why I have, you know, not just the University of Michigan and all the innocence groups in the nation, but people around the world looking at it. Timogen Kinzu, formerly known as Fred Freeman, is serving a life sentence for the murder of Scott Macklem, a student at St. Clair Community College back in November of 1986. A murder at least nine witnesses say he couldn't have possibly have committed, including his ex fiance Michelle Wood. Worth. And so I was with him that entire morning, that entire day. So I know would be on a shadow of a doubt that he did not do this crime and that he's been in prison for over 33 years. Authorities point at the finger at Kinzu because of an ex lover's new ties with Scott Macklem, but he was over 400 miles away in the Upper Peninsula in the town of Escanaba with Michelle. He and I were together at that same time. Uh, we woke up around that time. Knowing that Kinzu couldn't have possibly made the six hour drive from Escanaba to Port Huron in time for the murder, the prosecuting attorney came up with a different theory, insisting the 23 year old was somehow able to use a charter plane to get from point A to point B by the time of the 9 a.m. crime. Well, he would have had to commit the murder get back to wherever this airplane was at, fly him back to Escanaba, and then get a ride into town. Okay, you know, that's still cutting it close, even with an airplane. Herb Walter is a retired police officer turned private investigator who worked for the Port Huron Police Department at the time of the murder. He says the more he looks into the case, the more red flags he sees in Kinsu's defense. At the end of the day, he, he's, he had nothing to do with this murder. And that's why I'm trying to help him. Red flags that include Kinsey's defense attorney having a known drug problem and not calling certain witnesses to the stand like Kinsey's ex fiance Michelle, an eyewitness who also testified against Kinsey eyeing him as the trigger man, later revealed he was lying on the stand. In 2010, Judge Denise Hood overturned the conviction in a 52 page reversal, even stating that the prosecuting attorney, quote, engaged in misconduct by using a perjured testimony. But unfortunately, that decision decision itself was reversed because of a scheduling technicality. Now Kenzu is looking for more help from the governor. Uh, right now, I'm, I have more hope with Governor Whitmer than I have with any previous administration. It's it's really is the worst wrongful conviction you're ever going to find. And one of the reasons why Mr. Kinzu has been pressuring the governor for release is because he's now battling COVID-19, unfortunately. Victor Williams, Local 4. Yeah, all right, Victor, the prosecuting attorney who handled the case, Robert Cleland, went on to become a U.S. District Judge. He declined to comment.